Oh, yeah. The Tech Preacher Podcast is live, y'all. I'm Eric from Music Computer Solution, a.k.a. The Tech Preacher, episode number 30, baby. Are y'all ready for a good half an hour of the thrill? <laughs> yes. So today, guys, oh, we're going to talk about me switching up. I am doing the ultimate switch for years now. Uh, the LG V60 has been one of my daily drivers, right? And look, regardless if I get flack about it, you know, people telling me it's time for me to move on. I had to be the one to make that that decision. I had to be the one that see that that can find a device that makes me move on. As y'all guys know, I carry three devices with me, right? I, I always carry three devices with me. And the LG V60 has been in my pocket, switching up from the other two devices for the last two years. Listen, two years, right? But it's time to make a switch. It's time to say goodbye to the LG V60. And you know what? We're going to talk about it, the reasons why. And I'm going to dedicate this entire podcast towards the reason why I do what I do here. One of the, the reason why I'm switching up. So if you're listening to this audio version, this is going to be very important to listen to because you know what? Sometimes it's not about the specs. It's not about this. It's not about that. It's about the device that does everything that you want it to be. You want it to do, right? All right. Yes, indeed. Oh, I love that. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's talk about it. The LG V60 has been a device that's been a true workhorse. I put the LG V60 through everything, every device. And you know what? In some cases, the LG V60 came out on top, right? The LG V60 has been a true tested workhorse. But over the course of years and the, the plethora, I say plethora, the, the many devices that have been released, every time I put the LG V60 in there, I always feel that the LG V60 always come, came out on top in certain scenarios. But in today, I'm announcing that the LG V60 is still going to be a device that I'm going to you know, make videos about, right? I mean, I'm still going to make videos about it, right? Putting it against other devices, I still believe it's still a true workhorse. But I'm giving up my LG V60 for the Pixel 7 Pro, right? The Pixel 7 Pro is going to replace my LG V60. And look, man, I'm gonna tell you, it's only like two reasons why I would give up my LG V60 towards it, this Pixel 7 Pro. It's, it's, it's like two reasons, you know? But we gonna get into why. Because look, here's the thing. The LG V60 right now, as of me, you know, talking this podcast, you know, filming this podcast, it's 200 bucks cheap, right? You could go on eBay and buy the new display, 150, 170 bucks. Or I could leave the description down. You know, I think I got links in the description that you could get it on Amazon relatively cheap, you know, 150, 170 bucks. So what that does is it takes... The LG V60 turns it into a gaming machine. It turns it into a do display workhorse. If you want to, you know, get work done. A full keyboard at the bottom, the type while you got the display at the top. And listen, it works great. Now let's talk about performance on the, the LG V60. Not one time that I ever felt that the LG V60 slowed down on me and it stuttered and it, you know, it, it, it didn't give me no no hints of bad performance. It has always been a top tier performer, no matter what. But that ain't even it, right? That's not reason why I'm switching. It's not because of performance. I mean, let's let's talk about facts here. The LG V60 pound for pound, pound for pound, feature versus feature is a overall better device than the Pixel 7 Pro, right? Pound for pound. The Pixel 7 Pro doesn't have a headphone jack with a quad deck, but the LG V60 does. The, the, the Pixel 7 Pro doesn't have dual screen support. 
that means that I can't use a dual screen on the the L, uh, on the Pixel 7 Pro, but my V60 does. So if I want to have a full controller at the bottom of my V60 and play full game, a gaming machine, I cannot do that with the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, let's talk about cameras. Listen, still footage, I would give the edge to the Pixel 7 Pro. Still footage. Video footage, I still would give the edge to the V60. And the reason why is because it has integrated pro mode on there it's next to none when it comes down to pro mode right audio channels you got left and right audio channels that can be configured in the pro mode section that you cannot do on the the pixel 7 pro right i could connect a you know wireless setup without no dongles and all that stuff like that to my v60 and i could get perfect audio if i want to use external audio support i can do that with the lg v60 i can't do that on uh the pixel 7 pro without extra stuff to buy you know dongles and stuff like that overheating listen man for two years be outside in the sun 8k recording direct sunlight i mean everything that i can possibly do to this device in the highest of temperatures it never gave me an overheating warning it never shut off on me it it just worked right but the pixel 7 pro did it did overheat on me a little bit it did give me some issues and stuff like that right so when it come down to that pound for pound the thermals on the v60 is better than the pixel 7 pro that's without a that's without a doubt listen i've shot 8k video on the v60 in direct sunlight until the storage ran out until the storage ran out and it didn't cut off on me and it gave me fantastic footage. I can't do that on the Pixel 7 Pro, right? Let's talk about battery life. Listen, pound for pound, it's not even close. The LG V60 battery life is better, pound for pound, than the Pixel 7 Pro. That's not even a question. It is better, overall better. Absolutely better than the Pixel 7 Pro. If I wanted to connect, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, high pins headphones to my uh, LG V60 to get that good audio, I could do that with the LG V60, right? So, pound for pound, the LG V60 is a better device, in my opinion, than the Pixel 7 Pro, right? Now, when we talk about displays. Obviously, 60 hertz display compared to 120 hertz display. Listen, I will give the Pixel 7 display just a little edge over, you know, due to the 120 hertz display. It is a better panel overall and stuff like that. Listen, Android 12 versus Android 13, the V60, supposed to get Android 13, but right now it's on Android 12. It's so funny that the L, as of me recording this podcast, the LG V60 is more up to date than the Galaxy S22 Ultra. That is insane for a two-year-old device. And it's continuously getting updates, man. It's like it's the security patch is coming in, the bug fix is coming in. It, it's, it's an overall great device when it comes down to that aspect right and you know so you you guys asked the question damn he's i mean you you talking about all these good things about the lgv60 you know i mean god it's a you know listen my, my circle of people right barry gg you know the people that rock with me the people that's in in my circle you know they say easy you got to give it up man LG is closed, man. It's nothing. It's it's it, it, it. You got to move on, bro. Move on to something new. Move on to something fresh. And you know what? I listen to them. I I I. I you know, I listen to a lot of they, uh, a lot of things that they talk about, right? You know, and it's it's one of those things that, you know, when when you give up a device to go to another device, are you willing to give up features to get nine features to satisfy you? You know, and that's that's the key. 
listen, man, the the phone to me doesn't have anything to do with LG being closed because the phone's still receiving maintenance and updates and stuff like that. So it's it's getting refined. It's getting the updates. It's getting better over over the course of time. And if it get Android 13, it's going to get even better. So we still talk about months and months and months of refinements and updates that's going to make the phone better. So listen, this without a doubt. Listen, the, the, as far as performance, performance is about, man, I whew, I mean, God, I would I would say that the performance is 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 about on par with the the Pixel 7 Pro, man. I mean, it's I can't name one game that I can't play. I can't name anything that I can't do on the V60, right? And listen, the the V60 got pin support and pin software, right? So, I mean, I could click a button and I could get menus and and pen and all this stuff like that. I mean, I could do write notes and, and everything else in between. I could do all that on the V60. I will be giving up a lot of functionality to move to a, a Pixel 7 Pro. I will be giving up a lot of functionality, right? Pen, do screen, you know, uh, performance, thermos, cameras on the video side. I'll be giving all that up. Headphone jack, quad deck, battery life. I'll be giving all that up. To go to a Pixel 7 Pro. So you ask the question, damn, even for the last 10 minutes, you've been talking about all the good stuff about the, the LG V60. Why are you put putting it to the side? And listen, I wanted I want to explain myself on why I love the device so much. And it's only two reasons why I'm switching. Listen, I would still be making videos about it. it it's gonna be a device that's gonna be in and out of my rotation. But two reasons why I'm switching to the Pixel 7 Pro is because of the design. That's one thing. The Pixel 7 Pro design is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, listen, that to me is half the battle. Listen, I don't put, you know, you know, dark cases and, and I don't cover up my devices. I use clear cases on all my devices to show off the beauty of the booty baby you don't cover up the the beauty of the booty baby you don't cover that up with you know dark cases and all these black cases and all this man i listen i want a clear case on my device if i can't show off the beauty of the booty then that's half the battle i'm already done the pixel 7 pro has a great design right listen the lgv60 design and if you look at both of the devices right they're almost similar in so many ways. Um, they're almost similar in so many ways. All right. Um, because both of them got the bar across the top, but the, the Pixel 7 Pro is just a beautiful device, man. I mean, every time I pick up this device, it's just a modern, new, up-to-date design. It just feels good in the hand. It looks good, Right. I mean, it, it is a good device overall when it comes down to the build quality. The hardware on the Pixel 7 Pro is just absolutely marvelous. That's one of the reasons why I'm switching from the V60 to the Pixel 7 Pro. Another reason why I pick, uh, I, I'm switching from the Pixel, uh, from the V60 to the Pixel 7 Pro is because of the Google software. Listen, man, stock Android has been great. The Google experience has been very good. Call screening, uh, you know, all kinds of different things, you know, voice to text. Those things are just so good on the, in the Google ecosystem. It's just next to none. It works out very well in that essence, right? So the Google software is something that, uh, you know, works great for me it just it just it's absolutely marvelous it, it's just it's just a it's great man look when you using android 13 stock it's just something about the clean bill of android it just so silky smooth it just feels like it's refined it's something that google been working on for years you could tell that when you using the pixel uh, 7 Pro or even the pixels from early years, you know that Google has made it to the point where when you use this device, it's pure. And that's one of the things that I like about it. Right? Now listen, when it comes down to battery life, I'm not getting outstanding battery life, I'm getting okay battery life, right? 
Uh, when it comes down to the cameras, uh, I will use the, the, the Pixel 7 Pro mostly for still footage. Video is a little different. This is why I carry, you know, my other device, which is going to be the Z Fold 4. I'll use that device for video. I won't use the Pixel 7 for video. I've tried it. I've tried it. I've tried it over and over and over. It's just... Is this one of the, the devices that just hasn't proved itself to me as far as on the video side? It's better than previous pixels, but it's not up there, in my opinion, with the Z Fold 4, the S22 Ultra, the V60, man, and this other device with the Xiaomi, uh, you know, 12S Pro, I mean, 12S Ultra. It's just not there, man. The video, just, listen, man, I, I've I've tried it. I've used this, the video camera a couple of times without the overheating issues here and there. Listen, one of the reasons why I, I can't use this, the Pixel 7 Pro for, for video, is because I, I like to use the rear camera. That means I can't see what's going on on the display. I don't like the front camera on it. The front camera is, eh, you know, not that great. So I try to use the rear camera on it. And by using the rear camera, that means that I, I can't, see if the device is recording i've had these issues even listen this is my replacement but i've had these issues where using the pixel 7 pro the rear cameras recording and it's just one of those things is that i can't focus on what i need to talk about because i'm i'm scared to death if i go past you know six minutes eight minutes ten minutes the phone ain't gonna make it man like i feel that because it happened to me already you know, I try to film uh, and and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, it just didn't make it for me. And listen, I know what a lot of people say. And listen, man, I'm going to call BS on a lot of things. A lot of people say, well, easy, you know, you, you film outside a lot. You, you, you're filming, you know, you know, the elements and, and, and the, the phone can't. No phone. Listen, I hear this. No phone can handle the elements, and I'm like, man, I don't know where that come from. Because before 2021, man, you had almost every phone before before 2021. You could film outside, direct sunlight. People put their phones on their dashboard and direct sunlight, and they ain't never had no problems. 4K, 1080p, 60, 4K, 60, and they can run that device till the wheels fall off. Listen, I before 2021, which I had the, uh, I call it Broom Hill Day, was the Galaxy S21 Ultra that had me some detrimental overheating issues that I, I wound up departing with it. Right, but software updates fixed it. You know, hey, listen, I could have kept it and maybe some software updates fixed it. But we had some detrimental issues started hitting in 2021 and stuff like that, man. Listen, I could go back to the, you know, older devices like the Galaxy S, you know, 7. I'm sorry, not the 7. That's That was extremely hot, right? Uh, but no, the Galaxy S7, not the Note 7. The S7, uh, the S6 Edge Plus, the, you know, S5, the S8. You know, I mean, Galaxy devices, man, they, they didn't give me that overheating issues besides the, the Note 7, you know. And, you know, so when we get into these later up newer devices, then we got these, you know, oh, devices been getting hot for a long time. Man. I, I don't believe that because, listen, I got a lot of phones, man, and I, I just don't I just don't see it. But that's here or there. But. Uh, I can tell you that, yes, that's a couple of reasons why I'm switching from uh, the V60 to the the Pixel 7 Pro. Also, longer support, as we know, uh, the, the V60 is very limited. You know, it's supposed to get Android 13, but we don't know when, probably in 2023. But, you know, once we get into the half of 2023, I think, you know, all the bets are off uh, after 2023 with the LG V60. Now the, uh, the 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 Pixel 7 Pro that this device will be, you know, 5 years, you know, 4 and eight, you know, three and a half, four 4 years of support. So, you know, you're going to get an Android 13, 14, 15, 16 and stuff like that. So, it will get a lot more support, a lot more enhancements, a lot more bug fixes, probably get the cameras fixed. The over the thermals go get fixed. A lot of things go get fixed. So, 
you know, that's one of the things that I know is future proof. Back in 2020, the LG V60 was future proof. If you bought this device in 2020 and now getting going into 2023, you've had two and a half, you know, two years and going into 2023, you're good. You've had your ride with the V60. And for me, I think it's time for me to part ways and move on. And I think the best device that I want to move to is the Pixel 7 Pro. Listen, again, pound for pound, I don't think it's a better device. People might get in the comments and beg the difference. I just called out so many features of the LG V60 that the, the Pixel 7 Pro just doesn't have. You know, and that's just a fact. Even though, you know, a lot of people might say, well, easy, it's time for you to move on. But move on to, to, to lose more, right? Think about this, right? It's moving on, but I'm losing, you know? I mean, I used the dual screen. I can't get there with the, the, the Pixel 7 Pro. Even, listen, I'm going to use the device still, right? But just think about if I got rid of it, right? What if I just got rid of it? It's a lot of things I'm going I'm to I'm I'm lose. These headphones right here that I got on my head here. I don't have to get a dongle, man. I lose all my dongles, man. I got dongles freaking everywhere. I have, I, right now, I can't find damn dongle. Uh, 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 a USB-C dongle is somewhere in, in, in my room, in my studio, tossed around somewhere. That means I have to go buy another. I'm sure that I got at least, you know, I, 10, 15 of them scattered all over the place, but I got to go search for it. <laughs> so that means that if I wanted to listen to some good music right now, I can't do that with the Pixel 7 Pro with headphones, but I can do it on my V60. And listen, I know that other phones and, you know, you got to get over the headphone jack, you know. Listen, man, I, why should we get over losing features? That's the whole thing. Like, I think we get to the point where as we give these companies a pass, no power brick in the box, no headphone jack, no IR blast. You know what's so funny? I've been reviewing mid-range devices. I've been reviewing mid-range devices. You know what they do? They give you a case in the box, screen protectors, IR blasters, headphone jacks. I mean, they give you everything, the kitchen sink. They give you the power brick, the USB-C cord in the box. Some of them give you headphones in the box. Cost mid $300. Think about that. Mid $300 and you get an unboxing experience like no other. But if I pay for a Galaxy Z Fold 4, $1,800, I get none of that. None of that. None of it. Right? Granted that the, the Pixel 7 Pro is $899, plus we got deals coming up, you know what I'm saying? It's holiday season. But when you open up the box, you get nothing. Like they spit on you. I look at these companies right now that when you open up these boxes and you're not getting the unboxing experience that you used to get and you paying more for these devices, I, I feel these companies is spitting on us. And we accepting the slob and the spit that they, they are doing to us, man. That's why when I call them out, people always, oh, Eric, there you go. You know, you're getting, you know, you got to get over these companies. And, listen, at the end of the day, these companies don't care about us think about not putting a power brick on the box but they'll sell you one not putting headphones in the box but they'll sell you one and they give you the bullshit about e-waste come on man i think we got to wake up and smell a coffee it ain't what you it, it ain't what it's all about you know what i'm saying think about this years ago they used to give you feature after feature after feature you to get so much stuff now you know what's going on right now 2022 it this this is a trend that's been happening started in 2020 probably before 2020 it's all about cameras that everything every phone that comes out if you look at the keynote address they spin they spin half of the keynote address talking about cameras that's it it's all about care. 200 megapixel camera, 108 megapixel camera, 50 megapixel camera mode, 60 megapixel camera mode. You got big Oreos on phones right now. Everything is about cameras. Listen, have we switched from losing all the features to only focusing on cameras? I mean, come on now. I think the if, if, think about this, right? Half of most keynote addresses that you watch right now half of the keynote addresses is focused on cameras 
the whole freaking and listen let's 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 be real about it listen i always do camera reviews with older devices going against newer devices and i'm gonna tell you man i ain't gonna lie to you man you know some of the older devices can keep up with the newer devices all that 200 megapixel camera low light this and low light that man listen man i put the lgv60 against it and pound for pound man Hey man, sometimes you know when you read the comments, people say, "Damn, the LG V60 held its own." Damn, the LG V60 came out on top. Damn, the LG V60 did. I'm telling you, or even when I did a Galaxy Note 9, I did a Galaxy Note 9 against like newer phones, right? And people got shocked and surprised. Damn, the Galaxy Note 9 cameras are good. Well, you know why? It's because cameras been good. We have got this thing that we've been programmed about cameras, cameras, cameras. Or oh, it's putting the, the Sony IMX, whatever in that. Or oh, they're putting the Sony this and the Sony. Man, listen. Man, it, I think smartphones need to go. I think we need to think beyond the cameras. Turn the camera off. What else does it do? If you get rid of it, listen, turn the camera off. What else does it do? 90 hertz display 120 hertz display okay cool i got mid-range devices with dimensity 700 processors in it that give you 90 hertz displays for 200 bucks right for 250 bucks they got phones that's coming out with 90 hertz displays with the new dimensity processors in it so come on now we have to go beyond the word cameras right what is it else that these devices are doing to to, to grab your mighty dollar they're not giving you shit man they're taking away everything out of the box man the unboxing experience is this this it, it kills me because when i open up a, a a box right especially when you pay i don't care how much money you pay for it they, they don't even give you the necessities Think about that, right? They don't even give you the necessities in a box. They don't give you a power brick in a box. To me, that is a necessity, right? That's a necessity, but they want you to spend a thousand bucks on the device, but they don't want to give you necessities. All right, guys. So I just wanted to preach today about why I'm moving from uh, the LG V62 the pixel 7 pro i think it's gonna be a listen i've been using the pixel 7 pro it's been a very good software experience and the hardware has been top notch the still footage has been great now the video footage is you know it's okay uh the battery life has been okay uh the 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 display on it has been very good uh it's overall a great device and uh i'm gonna do this because i think it's a, i think it's time if I ever wanted to switch from my V60 and go to another device, uh, I want a device that's going to, you know, at least satisfy me 80%, 6 70% of what the LG V60 could bring to the table. And I think the, the, the Pixel 7 Pro has done that. All right. I want to dedicate this whole podcast on me switching from the LG V60 to the Pixel 7 Pro. It's been a great experience. I still will be making videos about the, uh, the the V60, so stay tuned for that. I am using the uh, what is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, and I'm using the Xiaomi 12s Ultra right now. It's my third device, but I switch up on my third device as I review devices. So there it is. Um, but yeah, there it is, man. Another episode of the Tech Preacher Podcast. Listen. This podcast is on the podcast channel now. So please make sure you subscribe. If you want to see the video uh, version of this podcast, please check it out. Uh, if you want to hear the audio version of this podcast, please go to Spotify and all your podcast audio channels and look for the Tech Preacher Podcast. I'm going to be there, baby. But I'm going I'm to do this outro with my favorite song. Thank y'all guys very much. Oh, yeah. We gonna get out of here. Yeah. Number 29, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. What? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Thank y'all guys very much. I really appreciate you. Another podcast in the books, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank y'all guys very much. I'm out of here, baby. Mm. 
what? <laughs> what? Let's go, let's go, let's go! What? Thank y'all guys very much. 